Yo, I'll be doing another giveaway this week and I'll be announcing the winner next Tuesday, October 8th. If you'd like to enter that, you can. You have a chance at winning a $10 PSN or Xbox gift code. All you have to do is drop a sub, drop a like, and also make sure you have post notifications turned on, and then send me proof to my Twitter. The link to that will be down in the description below. Also, you can get your name entered more than once by sending me uh, multiple screenshots of all the videos that I post this week. So yeah, man, if you guys would like to enter that, you definitely can. Oh, so, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy JR, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Hot Zone Hunter badge plus the actual Hot Zones as well. As you guys know, I've been trying to bring you guys these badge videos, but I also like to show actual statistical data that shows whether or not a badge is actually good or not. So before I get into this video, I just want to give a shout out to NBA 2K Labs because they are the ones that put in the work with a modded controller to actually get this data that I'm going to be using in this video. Now, these charts are, are public information because this is from their non-premium site. So I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I did want to shout them out. Their link will be in the video in the description down below in case you guys would like to check them out because like I said, I'm going, I'm using their data, but I just want to discuss, discuss with, with you guys some of the things with the Hot Zones and the Hot Zone Hunter badge. So I'm going to get right into the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. All right, guys, so like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of charts here and just to give you an idea exactly what the Hot Zones and the Hot Zone Hunter does as far as your consistency with the shot. So in this chart right here, these are basically shots that were taken with different overall three-point ratings without the Hot Zone Hunter, Hunter badge activated. You can see that if you have a high overall, like a high overall three-point rating, the Hot Zone and the Cold Zones doesn't really matter. You can see if you have like an 85-3, you if you have a hot zone you have a 63 percent chance of making it neutral is 59 percent and cold is 57 percent so it seems like if you have a high overall rating without the actual hot zone hunter badge the hot zones don't really affect you a hell lot but if you look down and you look towards the you know the lower three point rating such like if you're a big man and you're wanting to shoot from the corner then as you can see by this data the hot zones and the co zones affect affects you a lot more if you have a lower overall rating Rating. So let's say you have a 63 point rating. Um, if you have a hot zone, you have a 19% chance of hitting it. Neutral is 9%, and then code is 8%. So especially if you look like a 65% rating, you have a 36% chance of hitting it in a hot zone, 27% neutral, and 18% in cold. So you can see that the hot zones without the actual badge affect you a lot more if you have a lower overall. So if you're a big man, especially with a low overall and you're trying to hit some threes from the corner, then it's very important that you guys get your overall hot zones, especially in those corners. But if you're a guard, it's very important that you get your hot zones all over the court because like i said the hot zone hunter badge is going to be one of the best shooting badges that you can get on nba 2k20 if you're actually looking to hit consistent shots so this is another chart taken by nba 2k labs they've done this test with a 65 overall three point rating and i believe an 85 three point rating and the left side shows no badge and then the right side shows hall of fame badge with hot zone hunter so like i said you guys want to make sure that you get all of your hot zones equip this badge if you can Try to have it on Hall of Fame, but if you can't get it on Hall of Fame, at least have it on gold. You can see that with this chart, you basically saw a 20% increase whenever you time your shot well. This badge will basically help convert whites into greens, especially if you have this on Hall of Fame. Once you are near the edge of the green window, it's going to make it a lot easier for your shot to snap off to be a green instead of a full white so that's what i've been trying to tell you guys it's very important that you guys get your hot zones and then make sure that you guys equip this badge because if you want to be a consistent shooter whatsoever it's very important that you have both this badge and all of your hot zones all over the court yeah man there is the data that shows how effective hot zone hunter is like i said whenever i make these videos i just like to see actual proof or not on whether a badge is good i don't like to just make a video and then, and then just assume that a badge is going to do something when it really doesn't a lot of people in the beginning were saying that i believe steady shooter or flexible release helped you green more and then some people said it didn't help you green more i made a whole video on flexible release as well if you'd like to check it out and i've also made other videos as far as like the 
the best shooting and playmaking badges go. So if you guys would like to check that out, you definitely can. And recently I made a video on the fastest way to get your, your actual hot, hot spots. So I actually posted that video yesterday. So yeah, man, um, any, anything that I can do to help you guys out again, a shout out to NBA 2K labs because they put in all the work for this these charts and the actual data they also have a premium site that you can actually see the best jump shots so i'll leave that video in the link down below let me know what you guys think make sure you get your hot zones make sure you equip this badge if you want to be an actual consistent shooter in nba 2k20 thank you guys so much for all support i really do appreciate it i'm out peace